Metric Motorcycle Madness presents Honda Shadow VT1100C2 Rear Brake Pad Replacement Hey guys, Metric Motorcycle Madness. We are working on the VT1100 again. Give a shit. And it's not working. Anyways, poor lighting today. We're in the uh, one of the shops, and uh, it's raining, so yeah, we gotta use light like this. Unfortunately. Anyways, um, so we're redoing the uh, rear brake here. So we're removing the uh, and replacing the pads, um, and we're gonna uh, flush the brake fluid. It's never been flushed since we've had this one here. Uh, and we're going to bleed the brakes, of course, and tighten everything up. So your first step, and probably the one you're going to have the most issues with, is removing the fucking pin hanger. Um, this happened on the front caliper on this one, and it was so bad that we actually uh, broke off a um, extractor extractor like this trying to remove the front one and the front one the front caliper was basically junk at that point we replaced the front caliper last time and uh, that was it yeah because we were tired of dealing with it but this one is fucked and marred up as it is majority of the threads remain intact so we've uh, extracted the uh, pin here using the five millimeter hex as you can see here, this is pretty bunged up. Uh, we've got a new pin hanger here. It's a little shorter because it's meant for a front. I think it'll still work. And we've got the uh, the new cap also. The exterior cap is just a uh, cap that screws in. That's a flathead. So remove the, the flathead first. Hopefully it breaks freely. If not, you're going to be sitting here for a while. Um, pull the... Uh, Take the 5 mil, crack that, remove the pin hanger, and your pads will be free here. Uh, once you've done that, we've got a, what, 12 mil bolt here. I've already loosened this up. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And here we've got a 14 mil bolt. So once you remove the 14 mil bolt, caliper is going to be free. Uh, if you get any problems with any of these, um, PP blaster and uh, you have to on these two an impact to remove them. So now our calc is free. So we're up and out. Our pads are out here. It's a single caliper piston. So you can see our pads look fine. They got uh, they got plenty of life left, but the rusty they're old. They're you know, pretty pretty grinded in here, and we're just gonna replace them. So, next step now, turn the power back on because my breaker blew. So now that everything is uh, apart here, do yourself a favor, brake cleaner, clean up the rotor, paper towels and brake cleaner, blow all the crap off of this. Take your caliper, clean this up really good. All this dirt and stuff that's sitting on the piston itself, it's no good. You need to clean all of this up. There's some brake cleaner. Make sure you don't get it in here where it's going to eat the seals or the rubber here on this. Um, but uh, what we need to do is just get it clean so it can sit back. And uh, what we're going to do then is uh, we're going to open up the reservoir to the rear brake master cylinder. And we're going to put the old pad back on here. And for some of you, you can take a C-clamp. For me, I'm going to take a valve spring compressor, and with the old uh, pad on here, I'm going to actually compress the piston all the way so it's flush with there, so we can fit the new pad on. Sorry, new pads, I should say. Clean all this up, and we're going to bolt it back in, and I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright, so now that yeah, you have it all cleaned up, at least as good as you can, you're not going to be able to get all of it. These are pitted. Take one or both of your pads and stick them in their position on top of the piston coming out of the caliper. 
So what we're going to do is take, for you, maybe a C-clamp. For me, I'm going to take a valve spring compressor. So out here, which is nice and big. And now what we're going to do is we're going to compress that piston so it sits flush right there. What you're going to have to do, because that's going to push the fluid back through the system, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come over here. There's going to be a cover over the uh, rear uh, master cylinder reservoir here. Um, just go ahead and remove it. I This one never had one, so I have no idea how it's held on. So anyways, go ahead, pop the cap off of this, and uh, it'd be great if you had an assistant. You're going to have to, uh, it's probably going to bubble over when you push the fluid back up. Sometimes not, um, but it's going to raise the level. You might have to soak up some of the fluid and then add more after you uh, repressurize the system. But we're going to be bleeding the brakes after, which is going to be a separate video that I'm not doing right now. Um, so I'm probably just going to soak the fluid up. Go ahead and do that now. As you can see, we're uh, compressing the piston now, the valve spring compressor. The fluid's starting to rise, so we're going to have to soak it up. Remember, we're going to go all the way flush. Now that it's compressed, go ahead, place your pads back in, place the pin hanger through, screw that down, place it on to the caliper, line up the holes, Put your bolts through, both of them, tighten them down to the proper torque spec in your manual. If you're not bleeding your brakes, go ahead, pump up your rear brake pedal until your pressure resumes. Replace your rear cap and then put the, uh, the cover back on there. Uh, and you're pretty much all done after at that point. Uh, I'm running out of film space here, so I'm going to have to cut it short. But uh, 